This is what it is, and I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see it in the dark. Here we go, just hold on one second. Well, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, I've been away for a little bit of a chunk of time. And when I say a little bit, it's been like a month. It's because I got married and then we went on our honeymoon and I just kind of got sucked into a black hole for about a month. So now that that's all done, I'm gonna get back to my regular routine of doing all this fun stuff like crafting and cosplay and all that cool thing. Um, all those cool things that make me happy. So. This was a, a very, very highly requested video. Like when I say very, I mean probably one of the most requested things on my channel to see. And it was between that and Pandora's box. And Pandora's box was going to be a little bit more challenging to do. I will do it one day, but for this it was a lot easier. I mean it took me no time at all to do it. The plastic bottles that I used were big water bottles that I cut off the end and then cut a little bit of a slit into just to make sure that when they melted they coned out. They did melt holes in them a little bit. That's okay though because you're going to fix that up after with a hot glue gun. Now if you're a young child and you are trying to do this at home, please be careful. I mean, this is a hot tool. These heat guns are industrial. They're meant for melting probably, I don't know, I don't what industrial people melt drywall I, I don't know I don't do that stuff anyway so just be careful with it lo and behold don't cut yourself and careful with the scissors and stuff you are working with material that is not easily manageable I kind of just eyeballed out how long I wanted to make the actual staff of it uh, this was a toilet paper roll that I had originally thought I could use but I didn't think it was long enough so I cut a paper towel roll in half and it worked out perfectly you can kind of eyeball it now these are something that I found at my local Canadian Tire. I know not everybody has Canadian Tires and seeing the fact that most people that watch my videos do not live in Canada, uh, you could probably get it out of outdoor store or anything like that. Cabela's would probably sell them. They're just like basically lights that uh, are for if you get lost in the woods or something, they have a bunch of different features. The cardboard tube I had to cut out holes so I could be able to punch the light on and off with the button so you cut out your holes I kind of just guessed with measurements trying to see where the thing went through and then once I stuck it in I noticed that it was a little bit loose still and so I had a piece of foam that I put underneath just to make it more sturdy so it actually stays there when I push the button that it doesn't seep into it and I can't get it on um, this is Warbla, and I did use Warbla. You don't have to. I mean, Warbla is a little bit harder to find and purchase and stuff like that. You can use scotch tape or you can use paper and a glue, like hot glue gun. I use Warbla because it's what I had and it's the most easiest thing to do for something like this. Uh, you're just going to put it on, cover it all up however you want, and then Warbla is going to be used to do the details as well. Once again, you can use tape if that's what you have. Uh, you can use anything you have at home. I mean, get creative. That's what I do. I just use whatever I have. And then I looked at a picture online to just kind of figure out what details I had to do. And that is where I went from there. And that's what you're seeing right now. There was a lot of like pinned kind of details on it I'm like scratching the table like you can see me there's a lot of pin details on it that I had these stars that I cut the back off of they were kind of stars that you punch through paper but it wasn't quite a star shape that I had seen on the online picture it was kind of more like a weird a shape but I have no idea because I haven't seen it up close so I cut two prawns off the stars and I thought it looked way better so I did it that way and put um, the detail on as I had seen it in the photo once again and then I had little round rivets that I put around the edges there. The painting portion was pretty self-explanatory. Paint it silver. When you're done painting it silver, dry brush it with black. That's done. Yes, I am back. I am back from my honeymoon and back from my wedding endeavors and I'm back doing even greater, crazier once upon a time crafts or whatever type of crafts I end up doing that week. This is very highly recommended or requested. This Olympian Crystal, I actually didn't know what it was. I'm gonna lie to you, I haven't seen the newest season of Once Upon a Time just because I don't have cable and that's why I have so much time to do stuff like this because like, I have no life. But. Um, yes, I don't have cable, so I can't watch it until it comes out on season DVD, and then I just watch it all at once and binge it and whatever the case is. But um, this Olympian crystal was really highly recommended or requested, and so I looked up online to see what it looked like, and I'm like, 
no wonder why that thing's sweet so I ended up building my own Olympian crystal um, this is war blood you don't have to use war blood you can use scotch tape and then paint over it or you can use paper I use war blood because it's easier and I have the resources to get it some people don't and plus it's really expensive so if you want to keep the cost down just use taper paper this was plastic bottles that cost me a whole 99 cents and then I used uh, a glow stick on the inside to give it the sweet glowing effect I'll show you in a second once I put the lights on I got them from Canadian Tire which is like I guess like a outdoor-y kind of store, um, more for like home and garden, but if you have something like that you might sell them there. Or camping stores will have them. And then I just use little mismatched pieces of metal that I had around the house to do the details and yeah, there it is. Um, I know it's not exactly like it, my stuff is never is, it's kind of my just take on it, but I thought it still turned out pretty cool enough to be like, oh, neat. <laughs> Thanks for requesting it because I'm very happy that I ended up doing it because I think it looks so cool. And then, uh, yeah, future requests, just keep going at it. I see things all the time, I read the comments, and so I can potentially make it down the future or down the line in the future. Now that I don't have a wedding to plan and to stress about, I have probably a lot more time on my hands. So. If you uh, want to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you. If you want a request, I'd like to see your requests as well, because you never know what might be my next project. Also, um, don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's G-G-A-E-T-Z-Z. -Z. And if you go over there, you might see some pics from um, our trips to Bali, where we went on our honeymoon, and also um, some wedding photos. And I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I nailed it! I, I did. I just like, I was so happy with everything and the way it turned out and I DIY'd everything. So if you go on there you can see um, there's also a blog that has a lot of our teaser photos on that Dragonflight Photography. If you type in Dragonflight Photography in Google it'll come up and there's a blog there and you can see a lot of our photos from the day of. And yeah, so that's about it. If you want to check it out, go for it. If not, then whatever, that's your own loss. I mean it's very visually appealing for the eyes, if I must say so myself. So um, with that being said, that's what it is, this is what it is, and I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see it in the dark. Here we go, just hold on one second. Totally awesome, I think it turned out so great. Um, I, it looks so cool, I mean the bottles just did an amazing job of forming these natural waves to the crystal, so very easy, very inexpensive, and uh, yeah. That's what it is. Looks pretty sweet, eh? So here's your Olympian crystal. I hope you enjoyed this and tune in next time.